Hi, this is Nick Morgan. Welcome back to another edition of Just One Question. And I am honored indeed to have my dear friend, Lori Rudiman with us today. Uh, Lori is, uh, aside from being an amazing human being, she is soon to be the author of a book called Betting on You, which is all about how to put your personal life, your professional life together. Uh, and that seems even more timely now. Uh, I think that book will be out in January, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but Lori, you can correct us on that. Uh, Lori is an HR consultant, so she knows how to bet on you. Um, and given her long track record in various Fortune 1000 companies, she may actually have betted on you. So um, anyway, welcome, Lori. Delighted to have you with us. So great to be here, Nick, and it's good to see you. Are you in your basement? Is that where you're located today? Yeah, I'm in my fabulous basement office. Yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's uh, it's gotten very familiar. Um, so how are you? Check in with us and, and let us know how you're doing. Um, well, you know, a lot of people ask how you doing and they never listen to the answer. So I appreciate being asked and then also having you and your audience listen. I'm doing great, which is a weird thing to say in the age of a pandemic and a global recession. But We've had some good news in our family. My brother is, has been diagnosed with stage three colon cancer, but he is kicking butt and taking names. He has finished chemo, even in the age of the coronavirus, and he's on to radiation, and it's been nothing but good news. So I am thrilled about that, and everything else just pales in comparison. So thanks for asking. It sure does, and yeah. thoughts and, and prayers and, and uh, good wishes uh, to your uh, to your bro, I yeah. really hope uh, things go well there. Thank you. Uh, having been through that, and family members myself, I know how stressful that is. So, totally, totally. Yeah, tough on everybody, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we'll uh, we'll take a deep breath here and move on to the just one question, which I have for you, which is looking ahead a year. We all, I think, would like to. Um, teleport ourselves into next year, assuming assuming that everything is fixed and, and life seems almost normal again. But seriously, what do you think the world's going to look like a year from now? How will it be different? And given your HR background, I'm kind of expecting you to focus on the world of work, but really you can take it anywhere you want. Well, first I'd like to say, please teleport me a year ahead to the Maldives. That's where I want to be. Okay, so mm. let's get that out. Mm. But more importantly, I mean, I have no idea where the world is going to be in a year, and nobody does. Anybody who pretends is foolish and st stupid. You know, I'm, let's straight talk here. Right. But I will say it's probably going to be terrible, <laughs> and we're all probably going to be just fine. <laughs> but there is one way and one tool that I've been using to prepare myself for the past couple of years for any circumstance. And I thought I would talk about that tool today because it is absolutely changed my life. And that Great. tool is something called the pre-mortem. Nick, have you ever heard of this? Um, never. So tell me about it. Actually, it rings a vague bell. I used to work with some army folks and I think maybe uh, army people, they certainly did post-mortems in a big way. So yes. maybe they did yes. pre-mortems too, or maybe I'm inventing that. But you no, tell no, me. You're, you're absolutely right. So the pre-mortem is something that was um, embraced by NASA and IBM and all of these big companies because what they're trying to do is figure out failure before it happens. So before they begin a big project like standing up a bridge or, you know, flying the space shuttle, they ask themselves, how will this fail? Not how might it fail, not how could it fail, but how will it fail? And then they create a list of glitches, things that can go wrong. And then they address those glitches before they even happen and science done by and research done by Dr. Gary Klein says, if you do the pre-mortem before you start, you improve your chance of success by over 30%. So the way I've incorporated this into my life, and maybe you can incorporate it in yours, is before you talk to a client or you go on a job interview or before you have a tough conversation at work where you're asking for more, and you should ask for more, ask yourself, how is this going to fail? Mm and figure out all the ways that it's going to go wrong and make a plan and address those proactively 
And I'm telling you, you're going to increase your chance of success and you'll surprise yourself. Now, I will say I'm using this also when I go to the grocery store or when I'm interacting with family members who have a different political point of view around masks or whatever. I'm like, how is this going to fail, this interaction, this conversation? And it really helps me to kind of course correct my behavior and uh, I think de-escalate before things get out of hand. So that's what I would recommend in an age of volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity. The pre-mortem is your best friend. Lori, that's amazing. That's really helpful. Uh, and it, I'm naturally an optimist by nature. Uh, and so th thinking of all the ways in which things could go wrong is not my first thought. So that's no. very helpful to. But wait, I do. I want to interrupt you and say it could be funny, right? It doesn't have yeah. to be super serious. So if you're having a discussion with a loved one about uh, where to go get your takeout and you both often disagree, figure out the ways in which you disagree blow through those on your own so you can get to the good stuff, right? And mm. I just, I think it's a tool that can be used in so many individual ways as well as corporate ways, enterprise ways. And I love it. I love it. Thank you. That's great. And, and whatever happens next year, if we pre-mortem like mad, we should be able to get through it. So I like that. And I'm going to bet on sushi tonight. Thanks to you. So uh, wish me luck. Anyway. <laughs> Enjoy that sushi, Nick. You've earned it. We I've earned it. I've pre-mortem the heck out of that. That's um, right. Yeah. So um, uh, Lori Ruderman, everybody, always, always something useful, always something helpful. Uh, and stay tuned for betting on you coming out in January because I know that will be helpful too. Thank you, Lori. I hope so. Thank you. Bye, Nick. Bye.